Hey guys, Car here, and welcome back, man. Today in SQL, we're going to be looking at adding and identifying table short names in SQL. Now, for me, when I first started doing SQL and getting my hands on inherited data, this was one of the most interesting things for me in SQL. However, very simple and easy to learn. So let's go ahead and break this down. So in SQL, if we say select all from Let's just say sales and do an F5 here. That's our sales tables, and it's really not a whole lot to it. However, when you get into databases that have a multiple tables 10, 15, 20, 30 different tables, now you're like, oh my goodness. You have to join all those tables, or you inherit queries that has these tables join you're like what does this mean what does that mean what does this be what does this see i'm going to show you guys a very simple way to identify as well as add those table short names so let's go ahead and join let's do a full auto join here let's just say join customer on sales dot ID equals customer dot ID. F5. And right now we have the customer in the sales table. So how do you get into the point where you just where you start labeling and identifying those labels in SQL? Well, the way you do that is you come here and you say instead of sales, you add a S, and instead of customer here you add a C and what happens is as soon as you do that you see that these get underlined as syntax errors now why are these syntax errors because now you have changed the sales name to S and you change the customer to C so to get rid of those syntax errors now you can say S here and you can say C here and now you have just re-identified what those table names are in SQL so if we hit F5 here we see that we get the same results, but now we have re-identified that. So what happens if you want to start building out a SQL statement? We can come here and instead of saying all now, we can say, give me S dot. See, and now it's going to give us, it's going to it's identify that table. And now it's going to give us the selections that we can pick from. So let's just say S dot card type or C dot and now it's identified that customer table and let's just go with state and then let's come here and say s dot amount and then we can come here and say give me the first name and you and now you kind of get the gist of what where i'm going here so if we come here and hit f5 now what we've done is we've changed the names of our tables from sales to S and from customer to C. So now whenever we build out the statement and we want to add additional columns to our data set, now what we can do is just simply identify sales as S and we can identify customer as C. And that is how you add and identify table short names in SQL.